Uh, my name is Dennis Richard. We're here in another segment, uh, Understanding the Benefits of Amino Acids and Peptides. And uh, it is September 27th, 2009. And uh, we're going to talk about the benefits uh, using these with animals and horses specifically because they have track records. Uh, Patrick has been exceptionally uh, good about keeping track of uh, racehorses that they have on uh, the product. And uh, so you have a proven track record uh, every time they run, how they are able to increase their endurance, their speed, and this sort of, this sort of thing. But anyway, this is my friend Patrick Carbell. Uh, we're here, uh, he's here from Europe and he's leaving tomorrow. So we're trying to get this last segment in right quick uh, mm. before you leave. Well, something about horses. I mean, horses in general, whatever we do with them, and especially race horsing, is unnatural. Uh, horses don't have saddles in, 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 the, in nature. They don't wear saddles and they definitely don't have a jockey on their back riding them. Especially they don't train as hard as they do. They, they're eat 18 hours a day they're eating um, the, only the fresh grass, never the old one, and just roaming around the countryside. They're never in one place at a time. What we do is build stables for them. We give them the old grass which is, which is harvested months ago. And then we ask them to train every day very hard. That's as unnatural as can be. Um, if you're going to train something, you're asking the muscles to perform at its best. What, is, uh, uh, what we know now about food and food production is that we, we are simply losing, by, by, by uh, ages, we're losing the amount of protein in grass. We're also losing time. Because however better we are, we are treating the horses with, with special baits where they can walk and, and walkers and, and new training systems, the times which were run by horses 20, 50 years ago, 70 years ago, are still better than we're doing right now. Horses need amino acids because muscles need amino acids and they need recovery. Um, if, you, if you take Usain Bolt, for instance, on 100 meters and, and, and shuts him out of his food right now and just gives him stale bread and, and some water, he won't be ever running 100 meters in the times he's running it now. The horses get simply the same food as they did yesterday uh, and, and, and ages ago, but then less of quality. By giving this product in, you're, you're feeding the, mus the muscles of a horse. And, it's a diff and there's, the difference is unique. Uh, we've, we've done many horses, dressage horses, race horses, trotters, harness horses, uh, uh, jumpers, um, show horses, Arab horses, endurance horses. And we've what we simply do is better them. It doesn't always mean that they're winning, but the difference is so big that in most cases we're place runners. And, and most of the time we're like one or two. We better them by giving this product. We cut their recovery time in half, we better their coat, we better the hooves, we, we, we better their, their endurance, we just better them. In situations where fertility comes in, we often see that um, if you if you talking about fertilization and uh, and, and 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 studs, we are talking about semen. And semen is made out of two things: the the the, the, the sperm cell and and protein. There is no growth. There is no development without protein. How do you want to develop a sperm cell? or the growth, or, or, or better the growth, the optimal growth of a sperm cell when there's no, not enough protein. And that same sperm cell has a lunch packet around it, a membrane filled with seminal fluid. And that seminal fluid is predominantly amino acids. So when it comes into, into, into contact with the mare, it, it takes them a time um, to, to get into um, uh, the mare and, and, and make the fertilization. If there's not enough seminal fluid, it just ends up dying before fertilization has been done. And then we go, and then the, the, the cell is into the, the mare, and then we expect them to, to grow as good as they can. That, those are the foundations of the, of the foal. And especially the last quarter of the, of the pregnancy, the, the, the foal doubles in weight. Growth. There's a growth explosion you won't believe. 
that's all been done by amino acids. If you have a shortage there, the shortage is felt in the rest of, his, of the horse's life. Hooves, cartilage, muscles, tendons, ligaments. Something's got to give. You don't getting the, you're not getting the, the, the right quality out of the horse. And then the mare. The mare is deprived of, of all those proteins, so the, the, the recovery time of the mare is much, far, much, much longer than it should be, and the lactation comes later. And the quality of lactation isn't that good. So you, you're getting out of that, that, that same pregnancy, you're, you're getting a, a foal which is less developed and has a, a far worse predisposition to come to this world and be the best uh, and, and the fastest horse you, it can be. That first start is probably the most important thing there is for a horse. And then keeping, maintaining that growth throughout his, 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 his youth to get that an optimal result in growth is very important because we expect the horses to just start training by two and two and a half years. And we want them to be of the racetrack at three years old, which is their babies. How do you want to do that? 75 or 70 percent of all these racehorses which are which are, are are put a lot of effort and put of money in to get them on the racetrack won't even get to the racetrack because they're simply not good enough they're not coping with the training exercise they're not coping with whatever we ask from them and those 30 percent which are there we, we we have a lot of problem with their tendons ligaments muscles endurance everything how about cutting that time in half? How about getting a better coat? How about winning? Our product, we've been giving it out now all over the world. We, uh, we have, the, we have enormous results. Horses with never won, with never had a good place, are, lo are, are going three, one, second place, making money. This product is, in the horses industry, making money. It's not costing. It is making money. We recommend it. The difference is huge. Okay, I'd like to point out right quick that uh, uh, when when Patrick mentions that this he's uh, had this product around the world, this isn't known to the world. There are few key people in major countries uh, in uh, different parts of the world that have used this with their resources, and they have trackable records. And he has been kind enough to take the time to show me how once they start on the product, it's like every couple of weeks that they race, you can see their time improving. So this is trackable. There's no placebo effect. There's no nothing. There's, this isn't in their mind. This is just a fact that they, as there's, they go on the product, they'll see a, a, a improvement usually within two weeks. And every couple of weeks when they run, you can see their race, their racing time just improve, time just right after one after another. And that's very impressive to make you believe, or make me believe and understand that if this is a fact, for one thing, it means that there's no steroids or no anything in there that shouldn't be because those horses are drug tested frequently. If there was anything in there that, sh that isn't totally natural, they would be barred from the track. And another thing, it, it shows me if it's working for horses, there's no reason why it's not going to work for me. And that's what got me really excited about the fact that we got an all-natural product here that can really make a difference in our lives. Well, that's it for, to, uh, for now. Uh, so thank you for listening to MMSDR.com. So please uh, uh, watch our uh, website and newsletters and uh, anyway go to our website sign up for our newsletters because we'll be posting these on uh, YouTube there'll be links on our website newsletters to all these videos so appreciate uh, your time my name is Dennis Richard I'm just putting this disclaimer in that Recove biopeptides is a food supplement it is not intended to diagnose treat cure or prevent diseases most of us in the alternative health field understand that only our bodies can heal itself and that this information is put out for those of you that have an interest in accepting responsibility for your own health to do your own research.